Hey everybody, how are you doing? It's Claire Nicole of She's Crafty 2. Guys, as you're hopping on, say hello. Let me know where you're watching from. I thought I would show you my haul that I got earlier from Carolina's Antiques with a K. I did tag them here and y'all would have seen my live earlier. But you guys, I've got some pretty cool stuff. I just don't know what I want to paint with y'all tonight. Um, I do have you on the smaller tripod and then I'll put you on the bigger one. Oops, there goes my gum. Y'all know me and my gum. <laughs> I'll throw it out in a minute. Um, so here's what we took from Carolina's Antiques. Plus we got some jewelry, but um, Grace took that jewelry to the house already. But I got this picture frame, y'all. I don't know who this beautiful woman is, but this is her engagement photo. I got it for the frame and to possibly um, take her picture out and paint on the glass itself. Um, she is in San Antonio, Texas, you guys, but I feel like if stuff like this is found at a thrift store or it's found at an estate sale, it's not my problem to go and look for the family of these people that are in pictures like this because there's a reason why it's in an estate sale or in a thrift, stop, thrift store. Nobody wanted the picture, so don't get mad at me. Get mad at her family. She had a beautiful wedding picture as well um, that was a bigger picture frame but i took this to just get the frame possibly paint on it um guys i've been tinkering with painting some angels and stuff so i have no idea um i haven't painted in a long long time just abstract but as far as like forms and stuff like that y'all might see it live tonight um and it's going to be totally winging it wherever the paintbrush takes me um wherever god feels um to lead me or whatever am i an artist no I definitely am not, but I also wasn't a wreath maker six years ago. I also didn't paint furniture years ago, and I also didn't make signs. So we will see. Um, so just fair warning, you guys, this picture will get taken out. If you want to find her family, you're more than happy to pay for shipping to get this picture sent to you, and you could do the research yourself. <laughs> so I ain't got no time. So again, we found this one. I'm thinking I'm going to paint some angels on there. Mm. Again, that was all found at Carolina's Antiques. I'm going to go ahead and spit my gum out because it's going to fall out of my mouth. Hold on. And it's going to get cut, caught in my hair. So I found this beautiful suitcase. This guy is heavy, you guys. And I am definitely going to do something awesome with this. I love that it's already the color that matches my house. Um, but I want to do some cool stuff. I have some ideas. I'm going to do some um, Pinterest research and see um, where I'm inspired, where I'm led to go. But it's not always what you think, you guys. Um, I'm an outside of the box designer, so I do have some cool ideas that not necessarily um, include just putting words on it. So we will see where this goes. But this is a good size, a good size um, suitcase that we can definitely do something to it. I definitely see paint in its future. I maybe see a painting on it. Um, who knows? I'm not going to say, but I think I'm going to save this for my private club, you guys, because I like to bring stuff cool and different to them and make sure that when they pass a suitcase like this, they don't just see a suitcase and, you know, that's it. It's over and done with. No, they actually see a piece of art that they can actually um, take some, you know, other mediums to it. I won't say, but um, like I mentioned, I think I'm going to be doing this in the club, right? In my Be Crafty 2 club, you can definitely check out my link here. Oh, I didn't get it. I thought I did. Um, I'll go ahead and type it here. So this is everything that I found at my haul earlier at Carolina's Antique. I saw that they already um, shared my video and um, I'm hoping to work with them in the near future and kind of take you guys over there more um, and find some stuff I can paint on the spot or jazz up on the spot all right hey Evelyn all right so who's excited to see what I do with this if anything if you're not in my club you'll see what the end product looks like so there's that um, and then I found these cool I think these are so cool they go on the wall but they look like ladles they go ladles so I'm definitely gonna paint these for sure give them new life and I'm probably gonna put some foam in them or something and we're gonna put some succulents in them so these are definitely gonna be for sale 
because as much as I like them and they are pretty, I have like no more wall space in my home. So if you're interested in how these come out and possibly interested in buying them and putting them in your home and having these really one of a kind art, there is, so it looks like there's two of the same size. They go on each side on the wall. Like I said, these are a definite cool find that are gonna have like a succulent and cool stuff coming out of them. Okay, so if you like these, let me know. Hey, Derica, happy belated birthday, Derica. Do you want me to tell you happy birthday? Happy birthday to you. Hold on. Happy birthday to you. <laughs> I'll put it this way. Happy birthday, Mrs. Derricka Hill. Happy birthday to you. There's a Marilyn Monroe. Happy birthday. Now, Derricka, I know it's your birthday because Facebook told me, but the rest of y'all don't be telling me it's your birthday just so you could get a Marilyn Monroe wannabe singer, Clara. <laughs> All right, so we're gonna be painting these. More than likely, I'll be painting these uh, live with you guys because this is not something that I can definitely tell my club members, go out and buy some ladles. Cause I'm not gonna know where the heck to tell them to get it. I'm gonna say go to your local thrift store and buy some, you know, hanging ladles. <laughs> Carrie, you might see me in a little black dress. We'll see. I don't know if I could hold these girls in, but I might have a turtleneck on. Wasn't she wearing? A little dress or something um, okay so what else did I get I also who this guy is all wood you guys and I love that it's got that already this little ring handle but we're gonna definitely do something with this I love that it's already red mm, it might be kind might become something like farmhousey we'll see I gotta clean it up it's definitely got some chipping going on. Definitely got some chipping going on. So what do y'all like about this one? Can y'all see some amazing things going on with this? I do. I see awesome stuff going on with this. Thank you for sharing, Tammy. <laughs> Amy, Joe, I probably, if I sound good on the camera, I promise you I sound worse in person. <laughs> okay, so what else did we get from our friends out at Carolina's Antiques. Oh, I see some other cool stuff we got. Um, I also got this, which I'm probably gonna do farmhousey. I don't know, we'll see, but do y'all remember like washing your clothes on here? Is that what it was for? Or is it an abacus and it's missing the numbers? I don't know. <laughs> but I definitely see some greenery, maybe some, you know, farmhouse something. I don't know. We'll see where this goes, right? As you're hopping on, you guys say hello. Let me know where you're watching from. And also take a moment to share this video because it's been a while. I haven't gone live in a while with you guys as far as like painting stuff. All right, so I'm going to move that over there. I got a lot of great finds also from um, Canton out in Longview. Um, a lot of cool stuff, but I will show you that as I, you know, within another haul, but I want to get started on this one. And plus the kids kind of picked out stuff on their own too in Canton. And, um, I don't want them to get mad if I paint it without them. And then, uh, Scott gave me some beautiful, uh, candlesticks that we did out at Crafters Convention that his father-in-law did. So we'll be doing those as well. All right. Got some cool books that we're going to be refinishing and making them pretty for my house all right so let's go ahead and get y'all off of here right Maddie? everybody's gonna be looking for some washboards is it wash or wash how do you say it wash or wash i had a manager out at at t she would say water and wash now i'm like what the heck is wash she goes well wash wash w-a-s-h i said wash she was from Kansas City, you guys. Is that how you say wash? Go wash your hands. Ugh. Okay, let's see. Wash. Okay, here we go. Wash is 
from Pittsburgh. Well, she was from, um, look, there's my little angel drawing. I was already practicing. Um, she's from Kansas City, Missouri. Missouri. Hey, Laura. I think I got your message, Laura, because I recognize your profile pic. But I was like, oh, Lordy, this lady's messaging me, and I'm about to go live. I'll get back to her. But I see you, girl. Hey, Debbie, how are you doing? No, isn't this a pretty lady? How unfortunate that her family didn't want to keep her picture. So let's see how we're going to take this apart. As always, these things you need to be careful because you don't, uh, this is in 1965. Her name is Judith Claire Bennett, B-E-N-N-E-T-T. -T. So if you want to go find her or her family on Facebook, go look for it. And you let me know and I'll save this picture. You can pay shipping. You can get it to the family. You can call the news do a little local whatever and be like you know whatever go viral <laughs> i don't have time for that i'm just interested in the frame so these little things are ah see i already poked myself with my own whatever you call this screwdriver no that's not a screwdriver i don't know what it's called interesting though is that it looks like this was framed in longview texas framed in Longview, Texas by Frederick Nilla, the company. So maybe our friend Dylan might know a little bit something about that. I don't know. He's kind of young, so us youngins just want the frame. This Here's her picture, you guys. is her engagement photo um, so they even had her wedding picture there all right here we go oops now I'm gonna put uh, actually you know what I'm gonna put this back down I thought about painting on her picture but I'm like okay I'll really get people upset and if she's deceased we don't need no problems right like mm, Dang, that hurt. I almost cussed. I should be wearing my gloves, so I don't poke myself. Yes, don't bash the messenger, y'all. I'm not the one that tossed her picture. Well, technically, yeah, but it wouldn't be in my hands if her family cared. Put it that way. Michelle, um, it's you can have it if you want. You can pay shipping. I'll send it to you. Otherwise, I'm going to do nothing with it. Maybe I could use it to put like Mod Podge pictures over it. Cover it up. But then I don't know who that lady is. I don't want something like that going to somebody's house or in my house. I don't even like other people's pictures in my own house. Okay, here we go. Wash. I know, Carol, don't break the glass. Okay, here we go. Very. You know what I could have done? Because it's not going to really show. You know what I'm going to do? I'm going to go ahead and put. I'm going to put the cardboard back on because it's not gonna matter y'all. I'm gonna paint the glass anyways. So after all of that, I gotta pick this up. <laughs> Derica, it's only haunted if you believe in stuff like that and you don't uh, realize you have authority over things like that. Mm-hmm, because you know what? Spirits and stuff, they are, they're not people or dead people, you guys. They are demonic. So I'm sorry to tell you this, but our ancestors, our parents, our siblings, our aunts and uncles and our grandparents, they're in one of two places. I'm sorry, if I'm in heaven, I'm not coming back down to earth to tell you hello. I'm up in my mansion, up in heaven with all my family that made it. I'm not coming back to tell you hello. 
So, you're familiar with the Bible. It tells you spirits, demonic, come as familiar spirits. So what's familiar to you? Family, loved ones. So, um, those are my beliefs. I mean, whatever gets you through the day is, is you. But that's probably why I don't visit my deceased family members graves because it just it hurts me too much that they're gone and I know they're not there now I'm just trying to get this in there so as far as this being haunted I don't receive that at all because guess what the devil's afraid of me y'all and his little minions because all I have to do is say Jesus and he will flee. He's afraid of me. Remember that. Okay, here we go. Did my nail just break? My nail literally just broke. Hold on. I'm going to take off my nail. My nails are so weak. Just like ripped off. Surely, yes, that's what we're going to be doing. We're going to be dancing in heaven and worshiping. So if you don't like to dance and worship God now, woo, you're going to be doing a lot of it when we're in heaven. Can you imagine? We're not going to need deodorant because we ain't going to stink. We're not going to need baths. We're never going to sleep. Like, think about all the things that's going to be in heaven when we get there. We're never going to get, uh, not get to, but we're not never going to eat because we don't need to eat. We don't need no naps because we're never going to be tired. Okay, I think these will stay. It's just to get it there. Okay. I need a nail clipper to cut this nail off. That's awesome, Teresa. Yes, we're all going to get our new bodies. Amen. And we're going to be young, you guys. We are so going to be young. Okay. This side, I mean, it's got one holding it, but it'll be good. As long as there's a few on each side holding it. I'm good with that. Okay, here we go. Right, Miss Judith hopefully you're on to a better place and we're gonna restore your beautiful engagement photo <laughs> right I mean yeah if you don't like the music and the dancing in church you ain't gonna like heaven that's all I'm saying Um, Dahlia, I will look him up for some reason. His name sounds familiar. Um, my husband looks up a lot of people. Um, and let me tell you, I don't, you know what? I don't care if I offend anybody here because this is my page and these are my beliefs. But I really do believe that, uh, atheists are once, they were once believers and there's trauma there's things in their life. In order to be an atheist, you have to believe in something in order to believe that it doesn't exist. That's how I feel. <laughs> I know Derricka Aaron. Um, I saw his his post. So his house is a beautiful home. He's got that beautiful infinity pool. Um, but his house is a mile away from all those California buyers right now. Okay. But here we go. I'll definitely look him up. I'll tell my husband. If he's here in San Antonio, Texas. Oh my gosh. Yep. Okay. So I love that the frame is gold. So I'm totally going to like play on that. Um, but I think I'm going to do white and a little bit of hints of blues in here. So we'll see what we're going to do. I have no idea what I'm doing, you guys. So just play along with me. Hey, Julie, how are you doing? Hey, Lynette. Maybe I should kind of wipe this down a little bit. What do y'all think? Hey, Rebecca, first time.
first time watching. Yeah, y'all just keep Aaron Roth in your prayers. I know his wife, Linda, um, she can get a little fragile sometimes as any woman, right? But when your home is in the path of those big old fires and it's a mile away and you gotta be evacuated, it's like, wow. Everything you worked hard for and everything. So I know they have no children. They're world travelers. They've been, they've traveled all over the world from what Aaron told me is they prefer to travel than to have kids. <laughs> so, oh, I love this song that's playing. All right, here we go. Hi, Hillary. All right, we're gonna get some of our favorite paint, Junk Monkey paint. You can get your paint here, you guys. Hey, Dorothy, first time viewer. Let us know where you're watching from. If you're interested in any of this paint, you guys, or where, um, you know, I got the frame from and all that good stuff, there's the link there. Let me go ahead and pin it. It's not gonna be an active link until we're done, but it is posted up at top, okay? All right, so we're gonna get some antique lace, which is our favorite um, chalk paint. I'm also a retailer out in San Antonio and you can order it from me there at that link. And it is, it is a dirty, dirty white. I don't have my lights, guys, above me and even if I did, I think it would still get in conflict with this. Let me see if I can put cardboard over so you don't see that glaring in your face. That's better. Maybe if I stayed on the paper, it would keep me from <laughs> painting on my table. Hello. Plus, how can anything go wrong if we got Jesus music playing in the background? For real. We got some uh, Kim Walker and Jesus culture in the back. For those that are scared that this painting is haunted. Haunted to you, but not to me. Okay. Oh, I don't want to get paint on my beautiful sweater. Here we go. Hi, Jenny. First time watcher from Arkansas. So how many of y'all love to find picture frames and kind of redo them and give them life? I feel like I've been doing that more often because I did use them to help me with my finished look of my Christmas mantle, you guys. So I put the cardboard on top, guys, just so y'all don't get that big old glare in your on your phone or wherever you're watching from. I will take it off. Um, I don't know what I'm going to paint the glass. I think I have an idea what I'm going to paint it. I don't know, guys. I'm kind of scared because I'm totally going to paint something live with you guys, and I haven't done it in a long time. So if it comes out on this frame, like it, I have it in my head, I might possibly cry because it's going to be all God. <sighs> For real. Um, Shirley says she did a couple back in the 80s. I was born in 1980, girlfriend. I'm almost going to be 40. One more year. My birthday's in February. And then I got one more year before the big 4-0. Crazy see how time flies, even in your own life. One minute you're in elementary. Next minute you're a grown adult paying bills with lots of kids and you're married and you got a husband and a dog. <laughs> and then you're 40 years old. And then you're 50. And then 75. And then you got 20 grandkids. <laughs> Dorothy, you are 82. Shirley, how old are you, girl? Old is just a number. I seriously think I'm gonna be in my older age still rocking my head headbands and big old earrings red lipstick as long as a red lipstick does something to my honey I'll be wearing it he loves when I wear red lipstick 
He's like, if anything, you don't need to fix your hair. You don't even need to fix the rest of your face. Just wear red lipstick. Okay, honey buns. I'm going to have to get my other phone so I can see y'all better. Because y'all are too far and I am straining my eyeballs. Shirley, you are young. My mom is 65. But, let me see. She was born in 55, so does that make her 65? My mom was 25 when she had me and she was not ready. She said, I'm like, girl, at 25 I had... Uh, two kids already. So I'm probably going to come back and take some of this off and then antique it a little bit more. Oh, 63. She was born in 1955. Is my mom going to be 67? Her birthday is January 6, 1955. Somebody do the, the math. Could my mom be older than what I thought? Let's see. What's 25 plus 38? 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. 3, 4, 5, 6. I don't know. I don't know how my mom's going to be. I can't do the math in my head. Don't trust me right now. I almost said 73. <laughs> My mom is 63. All right, awesome. <laughs> Going to be 64. Okay. Okay, so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and take some of this off and come back with some. I'm going to put some gloves. Where are my gloves? Gloves, 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 gloves. Grace came over here and kind of like mixed up all my stuff. I am without some supplies because I took some stuff home, but I just need my other glove. Hopefully this is a glove I use to help me. Uh, we might have to wear it backwards. Might feel a little funny, but it'll work. Okay, so I'm gonna start taking some of this off. Let that gold shine back through. looking like red so you know what it's red under the gold y'all looks like are y'all gonna stick around and see what I paint on this because I might need all the support I can get because I'm kind of scared, y'all. I don't know what's going to come out of my hands. I don't like that there's red coming through. I might have to go touch up all of those edges with the antique, um, the wax, the black. Can y'all see the red in there? Let's see. I don't know if y'all could tell. It's a little bit of red in there. You can definitely see the red. Let me get my phone to see if it's charged a little bit so I can see the comments. And I'm not leaning over to try to see y'all. Their phone look it's terrible it's all cracked okay let's find you guys what the heck um let's see hold on let me get onto my page you guys i could see y'all 
put y'all over here. Try to read y'all's comments because they are really cracked on here. Um, Tammy, yeah. Okay, here we go. I'm going to turn my volume down. Go ahead and share this video, you guys. If y'all love cherry wood. Yes, there you go. I know Jan, he's my Facebook friend. I, I um, commented on his post. I know, Kara, we're gonna have to get rid of that red because me no lucky. So I think I saw somebody on here put it might've been cherry wood. So we're gonna fix that, you guys. <sighs> we might have to come back home. Let's see, what am I gonna do? You know what, we'll just do this. We'll just come back and cover it up. I want it to look distressed, but not if it's gonna bring that red out. Me no like that one bit. At least for what I'm trying to go for. What do y'all think, just covering it back up? Nobody will ever know. Just y'all. <laughs> Wet rag, Kara. Um, Kara, will it take off the red? We'll see. Well, I'm going to put some black into it, y'all. We'll put some black into it also. I want the gold to come through. We're gonna have to bring that gold back in. Oh, awesome, Hillary. What better way than to watch my big old face? <laughs> okay, here we go. My hair's getting in the paint. Oh yeah, my hair's a little long. I can actually, you know, can you imagine what I can paint with my hair? <laughs> I don't have anything to put my hair up either. Hold on. Let me see. Nope, I don't have a ponytail. I could get one of my head wraps. Let me get one of my head wraps. Let's see. Oh, you know what? I'll use... Oh, Glory's not going to like this. I use one of her scrunchies. Glory. I'm going to use one of Glory's cute little scrunchies. Here, look. So y'all could see how cute they look. Hold on. Wait. I'm gonna slide down. <laughs> See, there's her cute scrunchie. Totally me. All right, here we go. Okay, let's. Yeah, let's go ahead and try the wet rag. Car, see what that does because the sanding might be a little too difficult. And if not, we'll paint right over. So let's see what it does over here. Yeah, it even matches, right? Yeah, look, it's... Man, that was red underneath. Yeah, I'm gonna paint over that. I don't like that. Oh my gosh, I'm getting annoyed. Okay, here we go. Okay, I'm just gonna go ahead and come in with the black. After this, I can put a whole bunch of coats of paint and then come back and sand it down. But, oh no, guys. Any other ideas to keep that red from coming out? Should I paint it black on top of the white and then come back with the white? What do y'all think? I think I could do that. I might have to do that, you guys. Paint it white and then go over it with the black. 
is that red is being stubborn. this white you guys because we encountered that red underneath problem so plan B put a bunch of antique lace on it right Tammy sand then paint again the tip with black okay well let's try this but I'm singing it <laughs> all right here we go I'm gonna get my glue gun or my glue my glue yeah my hot glue I'm gonna get my glue my, my uh, I can't even talk my hot gun heat gun there you go You want to do all the things, right? How about we do a, something a little fun? Hashtag share the video and I'll send you a bag of milkshake paint. Okay? This is a chalky paint, but I also carry the milkshake paint. So I will send you a mystery color of milkshake paint. Hashtag share the video. So, um, hashtag share you guys. And then somebody will, um, I'll give somebody, I'll announce somebody's name at the end of this. But y'all gotta share, don't be cheating, y'all. Let's see if we could get to 200 viewers. How about that? If we could get to 200 viewers and keep it at over 200, then I'll give away another bag. I know y'all like that milkshake. My milkshake brings all the boys to the yard, right? All right. I can't know where I'm married. They can't be coming to no yard. <laughs> okay, here we go. Thank you, Diamond D for sharing. Thank you, Linda. Hey, Teresa. Okay, here we go. So, now we're just going to put a little bit of black velvet and then we'll come back with the white. We'll see how this works. Totally winging it, my friends. Yep, Anita says, put it on public, y'all. Don't be cheating. So we are going to really dry brush the black paint on there. Really, like really, really dry brush. Like almost non-existent. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to get... Ooh, I almost dropped that whole thing of water. Well, 
we supposed to paint it all black and then white? I already forgot. What was I supposed to do, guys? Paint it all black? And then come over it with white? I already forgot. Good Lord, have mercy. starting to look gray on here which looks pretty awesome hey Linda first time watching Linda 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 are you tired of hearing Linda 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 oh what the heck did y'all see what I did <laughs> I forgot to add the paint on here look I totally did a big old boo-boo I'll have to paint that over. What a ding dong. Oh well, that'll look like it burned in a fire. We'll, see. we'll really roughen it up. See, I forget I had, had it in my hands. First timer. Let's see, tip with black hair and there and edges, but lace first, yeah. Michelle, yes, we're doing shabby chic girl. I might have to fix some parts because I did a little bit too much of the black. I don't know where this is going. Let's see. Y'all see how I messed up over here? And I put a little bit too much there. Go ahead and hashtag shared, you guys. I'll be giving away some milkshake paint at the end of this all. I'll just probably just paint over it and rough it up. I don't have no polish remover. I'm not at home. I'm at my clubhouse. But those are good tips to know, right? throw some mouse in the house let me tell you it feels like it's creating that color for sure there's some parts where it's feels like it's creating mouse in the house over I can't wait till Sonia comes out with her metallic colors she may or may not have kind of given me a little insight on some stuff that's coming up such as metallic but don't tell her you heard it from me. Keep all our secrets here, okay? Because she'll tell me. Because <laughs> I'm like, girl, I need some metallics to work with. I won't be using nobody else's stuff. Leah, it's Creators Clubhouse, LLC. It's here in San Antonio, Texas. So that's where I'm at. I used to work out of my garage, but now um, I have my own clubhouse or workshop, whatever you want to call it. So technically, I should be having classes here, but it kind of turned into my workshop, y'all. Okay, so now we're going to come back with some white, and we're going to take care of those areas. 
um, that we kind of painted a little bit too dark. So we'll just come back over here. Hopefully cover that up. Michelle, you're in Austin. Awesome. I haven't gone to Austin in a while. When was the last time I went to Austin? I have no idea. Keeping it weird up there, right, Michelle? For the rest of us? <laughs> I want to sand it so bad, but I think what I'm going to do is I'm just going to bring that gold back in because we already know it's got that cherry wood color underneath, um, and I don't want to screw around with that. So I'm just going to go ahead and use some pure gold. It's just cheapo paint, acrylic paint. Can y'all even tell what it looks like? I'll get the camera down so y'all could see up close rather than the view from up there um, because if y'all think it looks good from up there, it looks pretty cool from up here where I'm at. Ida, the link is posted there or it's pinned. So guys, y'all can go get Junk Monkey Paint any day of the week from Sonia, but I always say if you're going to buy something from somebody and they have a link, it's because they're an affiliate and that helps them, um, you know, promote the brand, promote the company, but they also get paid. So if you're watching this and now you want Sonia's paint or you watch any of my products, support me, support what I do and buy from my link because it not only supports me, but it supports Sonia and Matt as well, right? So kill three birds with one stone. Well, we don't want you killing us, but you know what I mean? We all get blessed. All right, here we go. Emily and Scott. Anita, I have no idea who that is. Oh, Emily, um, Garcia and Scott. Yes, yeah, sorry, don't tell them. I'm thinking you were saying like they're a couple. <laughs> yeah, Emily Garcia is a hoot. She's funny. I took her and her husband out to dinner. Um, when they came to San Antonio to drop off my stuff. So, oh my gosh, guys, like, <gasps> I have to show you this. Okay, let me take y'all off of here. And maybe we'll put y'all lower. Sorry, look, I want y'all to see this. <clears throat> maybe y'all can see this. Hold on. I'm just going to put y'all like that. Can y'all see? But look how pretty that looks when I put the gold on there, you guys. It's bringing the gold back out. Isn't that pretty? Can y'all see that? Look, see? Okay, it said rotate the camera. Sorry, guys. Facebook doesn't like me doing that. It's trying to keep y'all from getting dizzy. move y'all anymore so I'm gonna bring that gold over here on top of the black so it's basically giving it a whole bunch of layers and I could or could not let's see I may or may not be stalling just because I'm not ready to paint maybe I'm a little scared <laughs> I'm scared, y'all. Say a little prayer for me that this comes out cool when I paint the glass. I'm thinking in my head what I want the glass to be. Make sure y'all share the video because we are gonna be giving away some milkshake paint, okay? 
I'll pick y'all up in just a moment because the other view might have been a little bit better. So I'm really dry brushing that gold on there. Hey Vanessa, how are you doing? It's Forever Petals by V in the house. Hey, hey, hey. So I'm bringing the gold back in, even though the gold was already on there, but we had to antique it a little bit. It's really coming out gold. We made it dirty. We made it all kinds of things, you guys. My music stopped. Uh-oh, I better go press play again. Making ornaments. Vanessa, how are you making ornaments? Are they flower ornaments? Let us know what you're up to, girl. Are you making paper flower ornaments? I wanna see. Okay, so I'm gonna take the camera off after this so I can give you a close up of just how much we made this. And again, as always, Totally forgot to take a before picture and after. I never do that. That would be so awesome if I actually did stuff like that to show, look what I did, but girlfriend forgets. I'm just getting rid of the rest of the gold that's on here. Let me just try brushing it. Whatever's left on my meat plate. I call this my meat plate, y'all. You can buy it at the grocery stores without the meat, y'all. You don't have to buy a pound of meat to get those plates. Okay, here we go. So I have this on here to keep the light from y'all glaring in your face. All right, let's go ahead and take you off really quickly and then I'm gonna show you. Hopefully I don't hit finish. Okay, let's take. Okay, here we go. Are you ready? We're not done. We might paint an angel on this, you guys. We shall see. Oh, look. One, two, three. Did you count them? Three chins. Here we go. Look how pretty that looks. So it was gold, and then we painted it antique lace there. And then we started sanding it and saw that some cherry wood was going to be popping up. So we decided to add some black to it. Very light dry brushing of the black velvet. Added a little bit of more dry brushing of the antique lace. And Sandra, I did, but this is my hair girl. I'll show you in a minute. Oh my gosh, Carol, are you serious? Okay. Uh, I'm like, who's that one? Um... And then we came back and added the gold back in there. Instead of sanding it to get the gold, we came back and added the gold back in there. Okay. So, so pretty. Look at that. That looks amazing. Now, what are we gonna paint in here? Oh. Um, I don't have a wig on, you guys. This is my hair, and I have my daughter scrunchie on. So y'all ready to get to work? Let's get to work, okay? I gotta reach the Archon mount here, you guys. Okay, here we go. <sighs> Where do I begin? I have an idea of, a, of an angel I wanna paint on here. So, I'm going to paint it blue. The glass. Let me get some more. I need more, um, I need more brushes. Let me go get some more brushes, you guys. And let me press play again. Give me some hearts if y'all are excited to see me paint an angel for the first time. It might look like a kid painted it, but who knows, by next month I might be a pro. We'll see. We'll see how it comes out, y'all. Okay, let me move some of this stuff over. 
Okay, so I'm getting nervous, y'all. I don't need this and this. Okay, I don't want my water to fall over. I don't need this. angel wings yes I'm gonna paint on the glass <laughs> okay so I'm gonna use misty aqua thank you Teresa I appreciate that I try even on my ugly days I try to look pretty and not scare y'all <laughs> make sure and share the video if y'all want to win some milkshake paint I will be giving two away if we can hit 200 viewers on here guys right now there's 104 of y'all i know y'all got some friends i don't know why this just gave me goosebumps right now you almost can't even see the color that it is but it is misty aqua So we're going to use this background. Look how pretty that is. Gorgeousness. So hopefully we'll get that light covered up. We'll put a few coats and then we'll come back and I think I can put the heat gun to this, right? I honestly don't know how this is going to come out. I'm scared. Okay, let me go ahead and charge up my phone because it says it needs a charge. So I could read just comments this way. Okay, here we go. We're almost at, let's see, we could get to 125 people. 200 people will give away milkshake. Mm -hmm. um, milkshake paint by Junk Monkey, or you can get it there from my link. <clears throat> and then I'll pick a winner at the end for sharing also. Did I just get this? Yep, I just got, I should have painted the glass first. like the light wash better Christine on what Sylvia it is um, the chalk paint by junk monkey paint you can get the link there and it is misty aqua I'm thinking I should have painted it black. I don't know. Who likes to see an angel with a black background? All these other parts like that I'm painting over, I'll come back and fix. Whoopsie doopsie. see how that looks. I've been told I paint like a two-year-old, so we'll see how this comes out.
Thank you for sharing, Sherry. Hold on. I just unplugged myself here. Well, I wanted to match my home, so I wouldn't go with the Liberty Blue. dry this with our heat gun. I can see where it's still wet a little bit because it's, excuse me, it's shiny. some black, some gold in there, uh, mouse in the house. I have no clue. I am actually thinking about that right now. Because I need white to come through, right? So we're totally winging it, y'all. Better than this. <laughs> Laquita, I still have your uh, present here, Laquita. Your present is still here, FYI. Girl, I keep forgetting. I'll show you if you don't believe me. It's right behind me. Okay, guys, I'm going to move this a little bit towards me because I'm kind of, the cord is short. This is dry. Alright, guys. I know go with the flow sherry okay um do i need another coat i feel like i need a good thick coat so we're gonna try another coat over it let's see i'm gonna have to come back with the smaller brush you guys and touch up the edges of this frame to get that to get the um, antique back. The antique looking back and not the misty aqua on the edges. I don't know if this is gonna pull off the paint. I don't know how much paint you can paint on glass, but we'll see. I make all the mistakes, right? So y'all don't have to. Well, and not always mistakes, but sometimes they turn into good accidents, right? <laughs> 